G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, we're going to be having a look at the Debian websites and looking for the ISO that suits you. Let's check it out. Here we are on the homepage of Debian. I was looking around the Debian website the other day and I stumbled across something very interesting that I really didn't know that existed. So, um, and I've been doing a little bit of homework on that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, most of the time on the Debian website, you will go to More. So we click on the More button. Under this page here, Introduction to Debian, um, we go to Download. you got your normal download links here. Um, small installation image, a complete installation image, 64-bit, 32-bit for both. Uh, cloud image and also your torrents on this side as well. That would be probably normally the, the normal ones I would go for. Then um, then you've got this link here, try Debian Live before installing. So let's have a look at that. So this uh, link this link here is um, using uh, downloading the hybrid ISO via a BitTorrent. And this one here is just uh, downloading the ISO direct. Uh, BitTorrent's probably the best, it's the fastest way of downloading. So we click on the AMD64, that's mine, a 64-bit. And then you have these ones down here, which is the standard Debian Live. And you've got your different flavors there, which is the Cinnamon, Gnome, KDE, LXDE, LXQT, Mate, Standard, and XFCE. I'm not sure what standard is. Standard must be, um, yeah, I don't really know what standard is. <laughs> I didn't, know, I didn't really take notice of the standard. Um, that's an interesting one. So they're all your torrents. So I've tried these, and the problem with this one is you still don't have Wi-Fi within the ISO. <clears throat> so unless you've got Ethernet connected, you will struggle with um, installing this if, you, if you're relying on Wi-Fi only. So these ones here, these, these uh, torrents and ISOs that you'll be downloading here are the um, official Debian image build and only includes free software. So it's highly likely that you will not have access. If you've got a Wi-Fi that's not included uh, with free drivers, um, you're going to be struggling to pick Wi-Fi up. And that's the issue that I had with my Intel NUC that I'm running right here now. Um, when I installed Debian oh, 18 months ago or something, probably further back, I ran it for about eight months, ran really well. And when I installed it, I really had problems. I had to run a really long um, Ethernet cable from the modem at the front of the room into this room here to get that done. But I was looking here, and for convenience for some users, there is an alternative unofficial image build, which includes non-free firmware for extra support for some awkward hardware. So we look under the images of unofficial non-free images, including firmware, if you need that image instead. So this piqued my interest right here. So let's open that up. <clears throat> so then you've got the 10.9 non-free and the 10.9 live non-free so we're going to do the live so you can try it out live choose the 64 bits and then you got the iso hybrid here and then you've got once again a list of isos and as you can see you've got cinnamon non-free iso gnome non-free iso KDE, LXDE, LXQT, Mate, Standard, and XFCE. So this is interesting because I have a feeling that this will load up the necessary firmware needed for Wi-Fi drivers, I would have to think. I've made a video on getting Wi-Fi drivers working for Debian. Um, I was inspired to do that when I was installing it on this system. So if you check this out, this video here, uh, Debian 10 Buster Intel Wi-Fi support right there. Now uh, this one here, um, that's the video that I made. Um, 
to help people install Wi-Fi with Debian. And as you can see, there's, uh, you know, I don't get, I'm only a small channel, I don't get a lot of views, but uh, this one's up to 46,000. So there is a lot of interest in Debian itself. And, you know, there's been a lot of uh, questions and a lot of people thanking me for the help and stuff. Um, yeah, and it is, um, you know, some people are really annoyed at the fact that you can install Debian, but you have no Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a bit frustrating, I must say, but that's and that's the hard work you need to do if you want to use a distro that uses a lot of uh, free software. So you need to jump a bit, jump through the hoops a bit, so to speak. And uh, once you get it running, it's it runs really well. So I've downloaded these um, ISOs here. This is the free Debian Live 10.9 free. And this one is the Debian Live 10.9 non-free with the Cinnamon desktop. They're both the, the Cinnamon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load the Live desktop on this system here on my NUC, which is where I had the big problems of uh, not having Wi-Fi. I'm going to check out if there's a difference between these two ISOs here. Debian Live, Debian Live Cinnamon non-free. I would have to assume that this non-free is going to load up the firmware for uh, much needed drivers on the system that this one, this ISO here, will not do. Yeah, so I'm going to um, give those a go, load them up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to install both. I'm, I'm definitely going to install one to an external hard drive. I've got one connected here on a dock that uh, is connected via USB 3. So I'm going to install at least one of them. Um, maybe both. If I get Wi-Fi on both, I'll install both and see what the differences are. If I get Wi-Fi on one only, then I will install um, that one. But if I do get Wi-Fi, I'll be really happy. <laughs> That'll be awesome if one of them has Wi-Fi. And even better if it has Wi-Fi once it's installed so that's what i'm really interested to see because this could be a huge change for people who are interested in debian without jumping through those hoops so that's the plan is to install at least one of these isos um, I'm, I'm very sure and confident that the the free one probably won't have wi-fi because i'm pretty sure i've done that before not a hundred percent sure if it was the live desktop, I, I'm not sure if I used the live desktop or not. I cannot remember. I, I think I did. And I think it was the GNOME desktop. I'm trying the Cinnamon this time. Haven't used Cinnamon for a little while. The non-free, I've never tried that one before. Don't know how long it's been on the website for. But I'm interested to see if this changes everything and takes away the jumping through hoops for a lot of people who want to install Debian. So I will see you in the next video with some results of those ISOs. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.